Hi, I'm Adrian Canale Parola. I'm a GP in rugby. I've been a GP there for 31 years and I'm currently chair of Rugby Clinical Commissioning Group. Adrian, how do you see CCGs tackling the commissioning of mental health services? Well, I think in terms of commissioning, we're faced with very different problems in the sticks, for want of a better way of putting it, than, than I think down in cities. We have really very little competition in the way of, of providers of, of mental health services, so we are commissioning really with one main provider for a local health economy. And where I think the difference will come with, will be if we actually look at commissioning for pathways rather than individual bits of patient care. But with that comes ownership of the whole pathway and these I think are the levers that we will need to use to effect change in our local health economy. What does that mean on the ground for people who actually have to think about getting the job done? What I think it means is that they will see that they actually have a say in how their health care is commissioned, this is thinking of patients, but certainly some of the other people involved in the care, the voluntary sector for instance, local authority, borough councils, will actually feel part of the picture and I think this is important that we're looking at holistic commissioning in a meaningful way. Now this is important to you but will every other GP be up for the job? Certainly locally I mean there's really is significant support for moving in this direction. Um, my concern is that we have leaders who are very committed and what I would not want to see is a system in place that relies on names rather than the actual appropriateness of the system. So part of the task of course is to have holistic commissioning in a meaningful way that will be sustainable. But a training needed then? I think so. Now you're a fan of collaboration between uh, the uh, provider and the commissioner. How do you see that working with mental health trusts in the air in your area? Well there is one main mental health trust um, and I think we're already starting to have dialogue but on a clinician to clinician sort of basis to look at the appropriateness of pathways in the first instance and I think we have partnership groups where significant number of stakeholders of varying kinds sit at the table um, and I think what we can do is involve the public in terms of the appropriateness of this pathway it's a pathway that starts and maybe doesn't finish for some people and I think all the stakeholders, all the providers have to have ownership of the whole pathway the complete way along and I think that's how we'll effect significant and meaningful change in this but it's not going to be easy because we're being constrained financially and we have to accept and understand that. Uh, care pathways and involve with the patient uh, sounds good how do you do it in practice? Okay, so we have to be very careful that we involve the public in a meaningful and mandated way and not just have one or two individuals who might put themselves forward who perhaps have a vested interest in certain aspects of this. Now, it's very difficult just simply to go out there cold and say we would like to have some representation from the public, but we can make use of local authority and the voluntary sector who have many communication networks involving the public, local fora for instance, um, and we're certainly making use of these to ensure that there's a two-way communication both to the public and from the public. What's the biggest challenge you're going to face in the next uh, five years? The biggest challenge I think is actually going to be to put this theory into practice. Um, now that might sound very simplistic but it is a problem. We're faced with a diminishing resource and we are probably faced with having to reshape some of the services and the key to this is to make sure that the service users are fully on board and understanding of what we need to do and the reasons we need to do it which is always in their best interests. It's not like holding your day-to-day -day surgery. Are you looking forward to it? I am very much looking forward to this. I think it's a refreshing change to be able to do something meaningful in, on this scale for my local public. Adrian, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.